Okay, so I don't know if it's working, but this is another computer. Um, but welcome back to Russell Logan, episode 28. It's been a while. Um, I don't know about anything. This is Crazy Dave. It's up done Crazy Joe. Um, what do you think I should do next? Uh, well, I guess we ought to have about solving some of those redwoods problems so we can get that lumber for the real company. Any other quests? Pete recommends investing in bandits. I'm not gonna read all this. Bandits in the pickle factory. Ask for another suggestion. Ask for another one. Okay, I'm from Max. These are all the places I got. Jelly Bean Cleaves Hideout. We might get something on there. Yeah. You see a few buildings off in distance uh, and spur out a bit toward them than this day. It turns out to be co old Kellogg Sanatorium. I remember reading about this place in papers, Crazy Guides, which is fatherly and spiritual purity, charging rich people in army and leg to eat bad food for weeks. We discovered a new map location, Kellogg Ranch. Uh, keep heading my way. Okay, so it is recording, okay. Um, so yeah, I haven't done this in a long time. Um, this is gonna be a long episode in this video. Um, so let's do this. You push the bandit seated around the fire. I mean, it's looking once this up. Don't know who you think you think you are. Don't know who you think you are, stranger, but you better turn yourself around right there and head back the way you came. Last thing you want to eat, but too bad. Well, that's not very neighborly. By the way, you might not be able to see my cursor, but I'm, um, yeah, I'm using it. That's not very neighborly. It took a hike, neighbor. You fellow stole a jar of jelly beans from an old man and I am to have her back. Is that right? Uh, and just how you plan on doing that? I guess the bonds. <laughs> I got the lump on him. So I don't remember my all my strategies. The poison them? <laughs> Okay, did that really just happen? Um... Wait, I'm gonna go... F full... S okay, I can't go full screen right now. Okay, two will do nine sneaky damage to all enemies. It's kind of glitching up. <laughs> yep, we <laughs> lost. Okay, that was not a good fight. You're gonna start angry. Okay, now I can do it. I'm gonna have to put full screen. <laughs> And I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Assuming it's still recording, I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> okay, so we clearly can't fight these guys. It's over. Really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Character. Um, yeah, I don't remember any of these, really. Like, I don't remember what I'm supposed to do. It's been so long since I last played this. Hold this mask. Old patrol cap. Black head. Let's put the cultist mask. Which one did I want actually? Plus five spell damage. Um No, it's just 
fine. Wait, what did my test do? Six to eight damage. Seven and nine, five to seven. Seven and nine. Probably a better gun. I mean, this is the better what like um, melee weapon. Traumatic gob 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 Traumatic goblin skull. Oh wait, we can. We can eat stuff to make them stronger too. Read it. Keep reading. Okay, I don't really care for that. Okay, wait, this is the new place. Uh, you find a crate lying inside a road. Okay, I have to do the mine here, so. What is this place? Oh my god, this is so creepy because it's like cultist mask going like this. It's so creepy. Okay, let's see the rules. It's a list of uh, draconian fitness rules the guests of the centurion had to add here. As a scale, it's like a really but for weight. Weigh yourself. According to scale, you weigh 47 newtons. newtons. You don't know how to use a scale correctly. Use width of height and blah blah blah. Measure yourself. According to this rule, you're 5 feet and 9 millimeters tall. You don't know how to use this uh, really correctly. So maybe I have to be smart or something. Oh wait, I didn't see this room. There's this room called Todd's office. Uh, start. Let's see. I know there's a ghost there. Oh, I didn't mean to go there. Uh, well, uh, hello. Hello. So you're a ghost, huh? Yes, it does appear so, and I laugh without me here to inspect them. My, uh, reign of purity, all of my patience have fled. That's probably not exactly why. Uh, by the way, I was trying to record this outside and fractured the hole, but it wouldn't load up, so I just decided on this. Uh, that's probably not exactly right. Uh, they're likely out ravaging the countryside in their own bodies. One cannot have purity of the soul without purity of the body, you know. What's this whole purity kick about anyways? My like threefold path of elimination of corrupting influences. Would you like to hear about it? Sure, lay it on me. Maybe he'll like me. At the first step, I call purity of the glands. One must rid yourself of all romantic and sexual desires and cease any self killing activities. Like what? Smoking cigars? Well, yes, but I'm speaking more of you know, nightmare activities at once. Anyway, that's the first step. Okay, that's the second step. It's a little glitchy, I just feel a little slower here. Uh, the second step is purity of the to accomplish through frequent cold, frequent cold water enemas. Yikes, and the cons consumption of wholesome and nutritious uh, grain flakes. Grain flakes. I uh, manufactured through my personal scientifically developed recipe. Oh, that's what they do, they create uh, Kellogg, Kellogg's, uh, the Kellogg thing. What makes so many different from the other breakfast cereals? Did you, did you not hear me? The recipe is scientifically developed. Alright, that's the third step. The final step uh, is purity of muscles. I've developed an ex extensive exercise regimen featuring several workout machines that I have intended myself to meet. And all of this together, what is it? My regimen eliminates crafting influences from the body, thus pu purifying the body mind and soul. Well, that sounds like a good result to shoot for, and it works. It certainly does. Why, just look at me. You're dead. Oh, coincident coincidentally. Coincidentally. Uh-huh. Okay, is there nothing over here? And yeah, the game just, like, drifts up. But, uh, okay, that's fine. Dormitory. There's a skeleton in the bed that it's wearing weird metal pants. Take them. I see in the toy. Okay. Oh, 
no, no, that's not a spy moxie. I'm guessing that'd be a lot of loot if I took a lot. I just gotta see if I need to tell you that. I just need to go to the kitchen. I don't know if I'm gonna complete the game run. I just want, I just wanted to go back to it because I haven't done it in a while. Gymnasium. Barber Maddox Skeletal Agitator Got the cool thing Hurts Suck the boss hole Insert your limbs Your body is still wrong Do not mean to do that Okay, I can pick lock it I wonder if anyone still plays this game. Um, like whether it's on YouTube, Twitch, or anything really. I wonder if anyone still plays it. One, I don't know if that was there before. Uh, go see it now. Heading Cemetery. Go to it, Lonesome Coast. Tickets. Howdy, welcome to Goldman Lan Lancaster's one and only petting cemetery. It's educational and in intuitional, and only 500 meat for your lifetime pass. Uh, petting cemetery. That's right, blah blah. You can pause it. You can read it. I'm not gonna read it. Interest in that. Fair enough. Doesn't seem like I can go in. Oh, what did I get? Okay, it's glitching up real good right now. So, why is the game glitching up? Like, oh, it's just the bones. How much is this crystal value? So, I mean, summon a skeleton to protect you. Game glitching up. That's pretty good. Hop down. I don't know what I'm fighting, but sure. So I don't know why everyone's so OP. See what it's all about. Port of Dark. We're over here. We discovered Port of Darkness down here. This guy seems to be in a dude looking around and, and come from blah blah blah. Hi there, there are some pretty cool boots you made up. Uh, you, you made. Are they for sale? Uh, oh, uh, no, I mean, I'm going to sell them, but, uh, they aren't mine. You didn't make them? It's funny how everyone seems that, but no. Uh, these walls were made by elves. These were all elves? Yeah, man, like little, guy, little elf guys. They're hard to see. Like, just out of the corner of your eye, you know? But I uh, like. But I'll be just kind of standing here and just kind of, and then I'm just, and then I'm like, oh, hey, got another pair of boots in my head. 
the styles made some more boots. Huh. I haven't made a pair of boots myself in, I don't know, like years? Like year? Years? Something. The, these, I always keep making them, though I don't know why. Weird. Okay. Uh, Kilo Bramble Boot Store. Huh? I swear to sell your boots. They're not mine, though. They're, they're right. But the elves can't be making them just for fun, right? I think they'd be making them so you can sell them. Oh, hi, yeah, that makes sense. There's a town called Dirtwater. I remember that town. Uh, there's a town called Dirtwater. You sh should really go for a nice swap there. Hmm, that's dumb. That's a pretty long trip, huh? Uh, thought. But it'd like be dangerous. I would, um, I'd be worried the elves won't make it, you know? Hmm, I'll let you think of anything. I'll let you know if I think of anything. Hello? Wow, how I knew, hi, new face. My name's, uh, one sec. Irene, she goes. Everyone who just calls me mushroom, so I forget sometimes. Howdy, Irene, I'm Twiffle. What's your, what's your story? Oh, not much to tell. I was hitchhiking to Frisco a few months back, but I stopped here and never got around to continuing, you know? Well, I have a big happy family here, and everyone helped. Everyone's so nice, and they're appreciative of how I know so much about mushrooms. Mushrooms? Uh, they're good for all kinds of things. If you know which ones to pick, if you want. I can sell you a few of my favorite pies, but mushroom pies too if you want to pick your own. Okay, cool. Uh, no, I wouldn't want to buy them even if I had them. And it's really expensive. So I only have 249 meat. And Torx, dog. TTP. Stream of teeth. Uh, leave her alone. Um, yeah. So, salutations, Torx. Uh, they call me Talking Dude because of my extensive knowledge of the principles of philosophy and arguments and conundrums of surrounding, surrounding its various aspects and interpretate. I can't read. I bet that's not why they call you that. Uh, can I interest you in the description of particulars of blah blah? Sure, why not? Why you keep going? If you just scroll up and then you can see out everything. So there's another perk I'd have gotten it by now. See why is it so glitchy? Why is it doing this? I think after this I might end it off after I these last two pages. Oh uh, hello, yes, hello. Uh, yes, I'm Todd. Torx, pleased to meet you. So, uh, what do you do around here? I'm a chemist. I've been researching, researching the properties of some of the local mushrooms. Properties like what? How to get you totally wrecked, huh? I'm kidding. I actually have a lot of interest in properties that could be real boon to medicine. I may even boil a solution in a physical art. Log logical order disorders. Oh, what? That's pretty interesting. The fact that they also get you out to smash is just happy stuff like how. I see, uh, if you have any lack of blah blah blah, mushrooms I can refine them in the... Yeah, so I'm guessing I just buy them from that video for one day. Uh, this one is rocking back and forth making... Uh, er, hi. Ask her what she's doing. Nothing there, just making dumb noises and entertaining us. I look kind of... Blah blah, so I'm done, not sure yet. Okay, so let's check. And three. So why is there two? Okay, let's check out my character though. My new perk. So I got no, I got Rufus, mostly scabs, goblin tongue, mind explainer, uh, whatever that, and anatomical learning, stupid blocking, gluten for punishment, master flushing, way skeptical, buddy, white hair, and Gritzian philosopher. Okay. 